hundreds of photographs from one of America's darkest hours, September 11, 2001. And these photographs show how top leaders reacted in the hours after the attack. Brian Todd has this look inside the 9-11 bunker. Even for a man familiar with high stress, these never-before-seen photos show another level. Dick Cheney wrapping his mind around the unthinkable. It's the morning of September 11, 2001. In his office, the then vice president watches footage of a World Trade Center tower burning, his foot on a desk. That could well have been after the first tower was hit, at which point everybody, I think, believed it's odd, it's strange, but it could very well and most probably is some kind of, of tragic accident. Within minutes, the second tower is hit, and the Secret Service tells the vice president his office may not be a safe place. My agent all of a sudden materialized beside me and said, sir, we have to leave now. And he grabbed me, and propelled me out of my office and down the hall into the underground shelter in the White House. Cheney is whisked to a place called The Bunker, the president's emergency operations center. These newly declassified pictures taken by Cheney's photographer as September 11th unfolded had been held in the National Archives, released for the first time now as part of a Freedom of Information Act request. Inside the bunker, the body language illustrates the strain. With National Security Advisor Condoleezza Rice seated next to him, aides are shoulder to shoulder, crowded around Cheney, taking and giving instructions, desperate for information. The stress was immense. It was very real and could have been debilitating. Uh, it was so strong, but people really rallied. In those early moments, captured in these images, Cheney and his aides are still unsure of where the fourth hijacked plane is. There was a possibility that there could be a decapitation strike. They'd gone after our financial centers, our military centers of power, and now we're coming after the political leadership as well. From inside that bunker, Cheney orders fighter jets to shoot down the fourth passenger plane, an operation that wouldn't be needed. Later, the president arrives and is seen consulting with Cheney. Perhaps even more stunning, for the first time, we see Cheney and his wife, Lynn, boarding their helicopter, Marine 2, on the White House lawn, flown to what for years had been called only an undisclosed location. We now know.